Hello everybody, welcome back. This will be my January progress, February goals for Project Use It Up. I have a, I've been able to use up some things, start working on some of my categories. Some of my categories I haven't, I don't have progress to show you. So we'll go down from the top. I don't have any nail polish to show you even though I do use nail polish. Several nail polishes at a time. For sheet mask, I was able to hit my goal of four for the month. A yes to tomatoes that I say no to. This is their detoxifying charcoal paper mask. It has a tingle to it. I didn't like that. Two of them from Bolero. Cranberry and Sweet Orange. Coconut cream and vanilla. They both came from Dollar Tree. These are really nice products. So if you are in the market, check them out. This one is from Daggett and Ramsdale. This is a charcoal facial mask I got from Shop Miss A. Cost me a dollar there. It's a two-piece. I am not a fan of two pieces, but this one was decent. And then I'll just show you the eye mask that I was able to use from Sephora. This is their pearl eye mask. It's for perfecting and brightening. I was not a fan. What else we got? I don't have any antibacterial hand gels to show you, but I am currently like halfway through one. I don't have any body sprays or perfumes to show you. I'm almost done with one. For conditioners, I was able to finish the Suave Naturals Pomegranate Splash. It's two times the moisture. This was a family size container. I actually enjoyed this. It was a medium consistency. So it wasn't completely liquid, but it also wasn't a thick one. But my hair really loved it. So I'm all about things that my hair loves. It had the moisture to make my hair look really nice. And once I was done, my hair was still in nice ringlets. The ringlets do not last when my hair is not wet, but I did enjoy that. I am currently using the Herbal Essence Tousle Me Softly Conditioner for a tousled, tous <laughs> tousled look with a fusion of wild violet and pomegranate. So more pomegranate for my hair. I actually enjoyed this one too. This one is for the more curly, coily hair as well. So it's a conditioning one, you know, a nice conditioning one. So I'm all about that. For shampoos, I don't have any finished, but I am currently using three. Alberto VO5, Herbal Escapes. This is their Kiwi Lime Squeeze and Lemongrass Extract Clarifying Shampoo. This is my preferred clarifying shampoo. Get this from Dollar Tree. Then I have Dove Go Fresh Therapy Shampoo, Cool Moisture, Cucumber, and Green Tea Scent for Normal Hair. I'm like halfway through this container. So. And then from Head and Shoulders, this is their 2-in-1 Instant Fresh with Cucumber and Mint Essence. I am more down here. But being that I use three at a time, they show progress differently. <laughs> for face products, I was actually able to finish one, the Santee Liquid Foundation in number four. from I got it from the Shop Miss A website. So I'm excited to have finished one face product. I want to finish five this year. I don't have any eye products to show you. I have one hair product. And that's from Sebastian in the Whipped Cream. This is a mousse. I really love this mousse. And it's an expensive mousse. But it comes out really thick. It comes out looking like it's ready whipped. You know, a whipped cream, actually. So I really do enjoy that for my hair. It doesn't leave it tacky or sticky. I don't have any shower gels to show you, 
but this is the one I will be using in the month of February. This is from Bath and Body Works. This is Sweet Tropical Vanilla. It's Tropical Vanilla, Sparkling Tangerine, Thierry Flower, Dulce de Leche, and Sugared Woods. This was... I got this 2017's um, semi-annual sale during the summer. I don't have any perfumes, perfume samples or roller balls to show you. No samples in another category this time. For lip products, I do have three of the 15 I want to finish. From Fresh, this is their Sugar Dream Advanced Therapy Sheer Pink Lip Treatment. I do enjoy the Fresh Sugar treatments this one is completely gone that's just the plastic they are moisturizing they are not pocket friendly because they are so soft this is from starry their honey gloss in strawberry it was a thick one i wouldn't buy it again from carmex this is the everyday protecting lip balm and with an spf of 15 i do like carmex i my lips really do enjoy carmex Okay, for travel size lotions. I have two, I have four. Enchanted Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. It wasn't moisturizing, but it did have a nice scent. The Olay Ultra Moisture Lotion with Shea Butter. I really enjoyed this one. This was a really nice moisturizing lotion. Then I have two of them from Bath and Body Works, one in Charmed Life and one in Twilight Woods. They don't make either one of these scents anymore, but they were both really nice scents. And I love Bath and Body Works products, so I really have a terrible thing to say about them. For wax melts, I have two of 24 completed now. Vanilla Lime is just a really nice, homey welcoming scent it's the lime helps cut down on the super sugar of vanilla it just it's a very nice warm and inviting scent this one is chocolate layer cake this one is a very potent fragrance it when i put it in my tart warmer in the bedroom i have to break it down because it's too overwhelming for such a small space but if I was to put it in the living room, I could put it whole because then it would go across the front room, the front room, the front of the house. There we go. The living room, the dining room, and the kitchen. And it would just encapsulate all of that. And then it would push down the hallway towards the bedrooms and the bathrooms. So I really do enjoy both of those scents. And I do not have any skincare samples for the month right now. Wow. Wow. All right, you guys, that was my progress and goals for February. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well. Peace. Ooh.